Do you love good deals? Well, guess what? I've got some news for you. I have a discount code for baysandbricks.com, your one-stop shop for all your Beyblade needs. Head on over there and enter the code SILLYSALMON at checkout and you will receive 7% off your whole order. The link will be in the description, so head on over there and get your good deals right now. All right, as you saw in the little intro, here it is, the Mega, Mega Brand, Mega Constructs, uh, yeah, Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks, Mega Brand, Halo Infinite Series 4 Blind Bags. So here they are, and uh, yeah, the, the bag is pretty minimal. That is all six figures you can get in this series. Um, very hype for the Glow in the Dark and the AC Jackal. Sentinel's pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna slice them open. Alrighty, we got the uh, Epic Mall Ninja weapon here, so we're just gonna hopefully not slice our fingers off and open this little guy. So uh, yeah, let's see what it is. That absolutely mauled the packaging, okay. It's the Marine. All right, on to the next one. We will look at the figures more in depth later. Let's see what this one is. Uh, opened a little bit more uh, gracefully. It's the glow in the dark Spartan. All right, next baggie. We're gonna open this one. Let's see what it is. Uh, and it is a AC Jackal. All right, onto the next bag. Let's see what we get. It is the drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. Another infected Spartan. Okay, let's see what's in this baggie. It's the Sentinel. All right, moving on to the next bag. Let's see what we get in here. It's, oh, come on, doesn't wanna come out. The Recon Spartan, let's go. Alrighty, let's see what is in this bag. All right, let's open. Bam, let's pour it out in three, two, one. It's the Marine. Okay, next bag. Let's see what we get in this one. Ready, three, two, one. It's another Marine. All right, let's see what is in this bag. All righty, let's go. Three, two, one. It's another Sentinel. Okay, last bag, let's see what it is. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. And it is a, a, it's not coming out. It's, it's a grunt. Okay, now before we look at the figures, we're gonna look at the checklist. So here it is, showcasing all six figures. Um, as you can see, there are the three commons, the two rares, and the one ultra rare. So the three commons are the Marine, the Recon Spartan, and the Sentinel, for some reason. And the rares are the Infected Spartan and the Grunt, and the ultra rare is the Jackal Sniper inactive camo turning it around just shows a little qr code pretty neat uh it's just like a qr code to like the app there's instructions on how to build a grunt and how to build the figures in general um so yeah pretty sick uh yeah all right starting off with uh probably one of the weaker figures of the uh set here not saying that it's a bad figure, but you know, it's kind of lacking when compared to the rest. So anyways, it's this uh, Imperial Grunt or Grunt Imperial, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so his armor is purple. It, it matches his little plasma pistol. So I guess you could call it Covenant Purple. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all right. I believe the head is molded in silver. Yeah, and the purple armor bit is actually painted but i believe that's like the only paint quote unquote on this figure um yeah and then there's these little pieces right here on the side of the little tank here 
Um, his skin is like the basic tan. Very interesting thing here. All the figures in this set are pre-built, except for the Sentinel, because obviously the Sentinel is just a bunch of pieces. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I do like to build the figures, but I mean, sometimes it might be kind of hard. But uh, yeah, the interesting thing about this about this series is that all the figures are pre-built. Okay, all right, well, on to the next figure. Moving on to the next figure here is the Recon Spartan. Now, he's pretty cool, actually. He's done in this lime green, but it's not like bright colored uh, lime green. It's more of like a, a darker lime green, which is very interesting. And so his secondary color here is actually this tannish color. It's like mixed with black flecks in it. And as you can see, there's like a little bit of black, more black on his forearm right here. But I think it actually looks makes him look a little bit cool. Um, his weapon here is the Ravager, which is a new mold um, that has recently released. It's done in this gray, no paint, but it looks pretty cool. I like the details. Printing on the figure includes the knife, as well as little black spots on the helmet, as well as on the back, which is nice. And uh, surrounding the visor as well. Well, it's actually not really black, it's like dark gray. And then uh, gold for the visor, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice. That's like about all the details on the on this figure, but overall, um, a pretty cool figure. All right, here it is, the next quote unquote figure, if you wanna call it a figure. Um, it's the Sentinel. Now the Sentinel is done all in this like silver. It's like pearl silver. Pretty much every single piece on this thing is that pearl silver, except for the eye, which is this transparent blue. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. Um, posability right here, like this, it can twist a little bit as well. And then it can also twist right here. Um, the sentinel beam is right here with this piece. Um, kind of weird that they didn't include the sentinel beam piece since they have that mold mate, I, I believe. Honestly, um, it could have gotten discarded, who knows? But I mean, I know they've done that mold in the past, so I don't see why they couldn't have done it here. But anyways, moving on, it's got these little fins back here that also move and it's on a stand with this clear rod right here. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of all there is to say about the Sentinel. It's neat. Um, I do like it, but not as much as the rest of the figures in this set. Uh, all right, uh, moving on. Okay, here is the Jackal Sniper. Now, this is no ordinary Jackal Sniper. This Jackal Sniper is in active camouflage. So he is currently invisible. So you can't even see him. I'm not even holding a figure, obviously. Um, all jokes aside, um, I think this guy looks super cool. Uh, definitely pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, so here he is. He's got the, um, the I believe this is the, I want to say plasma rifle or plasma sniper, but I can't remember the name of this weapon. Uh, Y'all can uh, roast me in the comments for not remembering the name of this weapon. But I know it's a Covenant weapon. Anyways. Uh, yeah, here he is. Uh, so he's got new armor pieces, which are these little things on his forearms, which is pretty cool looking, as well as this new uh, headpiece, which actually has printing on it, as you can see, the little blue dots right there. And uh, it's actually removable, which... All jackal heads actually had a hole in them already, which kind of foreshadowed the uh, inevitable release of this piece. And they also do have one in uh, normal colors as well, not in active camouflage. Um, yeah. The base plate is also black. I kind of wish they um, gave him a, a clear base plate as well, but um, like the like a lot of the other. AC figures, they usually give him a matching base plate. But anyways, um, I digress. 
it's oh this figure is awesome i like the look of it especially the blue the blue is a really nice shade as well um but yeah that is the jackal sniper pretty sick pretty sick all right now here is the marine of this series uh there's been a marine in pretty much like almost every uh halo infinite blind bag series so far uh maybe not series two but i can't i can't remember uh that well right now but anyways uh yeah overall this marine looks pretty cool and it's not the standard green like uh most marines which is yeah uh, which is definitely a plus because uh they do get repetitive looking um when they all have the same color armor this is done in the in the kind of like copperish brown not really copper but it's like brown brownish muted brown um this marine also has a backpack which you do not see a lot nowadays i think that is a uh a very nice inclusion the undersuit or pants or whatever you want to call them they're done in this tan uh printing on the kneecaps uh for the knee armor and then uh as well as on the helmet the printing is for the gold on the visor as well as the dark gray details going across the helmet that one line uh oh one interesting thing about this marine is that it actually has the female torso which implies that this is a female marine which is pretty cool you don't really get a lot of female marines um i honestly don't understand why because it's like you know there's no majority at least in canon it doesn't really matter anyways the head is actually the mast head which is pretty cool so as you can see the face right there the eyes the eyebrows are actually um done in white so this person has white hair apparently which i think is pretty cool uh yeah the weapon this marine uh is holding is the commando rifle uh, also another newer mold it's a pretty nice looking one as well this one is done in gray a lot of these are done in the same colors but honestly like it's not that big of a deal to where it's like um a deal breaker honestly i think it looks nice it, they probably could have made this mold a little bit better since the commando like is connected here um but it still looks good um even without that detail um but yeah that is the marine uh yeah pretty cool all right i know you guys have been waiting for this this is the infected spartan anubis this thing looks awesome i love this figure already even though i barely messed with it uh the colors the way uh, mattel or mega the way they handle the colors for the inspected spartans is amazing i love the glow in the dark as well as the silver the silver really complements the the glow in the dark a lot um definitely a very good combo so printing there's not much printing on this figure besides the helmet so like there's the color matching for the armor as well as this visor which is like a metallic green. Um, the weapon is this green energy sword in the older mold, the rounder one, which is nice. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Besides the fact that this is a female Spartan, as you can tell because of this armor, um, this is actually a female torso only armor, but which uh, is pretty cool. You know, you don't really see it a lot they don't really give out these torsos anymore it's kind of sad i wish they did more female figures it's just like you know it's not you know they just they just do the male torso a lot and i would like to see a little bit more like parts dedicated to the female torso because there's not a lot um but anyways yeah i just you know and more colors as well especially this piece right here this uh, new newer piece is actually uh, pretty recent. Um, I, w I really want to see this this uh, chest armor piece. These chest armor pieces, actually, there's two. I, I want to see them in more colors. Um, definitely along the line, it would uh, be a nice little nice thing to see. Anyways, I digress a lot. Um, I am going to turn off the lights and uh, 
also put it against the light and uh, see what happens and we can test the glow in the dark feature. All right, so here it is. And clearly you can see the helmet actually has glow in the dark paint, which is awesome. I think it looks really sick. I like this. I like that glow in the dark paint. It looks awesome. My camera's having a hard time focusing. It looks like floating armor. Um, but yeah, this figure is awesome and it looks great in the dark. Um, yeah, it's kind of fading already. I think you can kind of tell, but, uh, yeah, that is the glow in the dark feature. All right. So that was an opening of 10 series four Halo Infinite mega branded, um, blind bags. Yeah. So overall, this set is really good. I like this series. Um, it's not the best one out there. There are obviously some better, better uh, blind bag series. Um, but for the really good figures like the uh, Anubis, the Marine, the Jackal, as well as the Recon. The Recon, I wasn't expecting to be that good. Um, it's not that high on my list. It's a little bit lower, but definitely a really cool figure. And I love the Ravager. The Ravager honestly makes that figure worth uh getting or trying to trying to get but obviously you can like coat these things it's not that hard um but anyways uh yeah this set is really cool i like it a lot um i'm definitely glad i got the full set like at least one full set which that's what i have here um yeah the collection is nice i like that they have six figures makes it a little bit easier to manage and uh you know track down um but yeah overall a great figure set so definitely uh recommend picking this what this one up whenever you find them and uh definitely get multiples of your favorite figure which um i kind of did i got like three marines here <laughs> that was definitely on purpose um but anyways this has been silly salmon inc make sure you guys like share subscribe and all that jazz and i will catch you guys in the next one all right stay silly guys Bye-bye.